it's in my view that US Simile RX is the second best QBank. Okay. I think Amboss is superfluous. Pe some people will dislike that. Some people say, no, fuck you. I think Amboss is the best. That's fine. Okay. We're going to have different opinions. We're having discourse, discussion here. Okay. So it's in my view that Amboss is too much. The aim is to get your score up as much as possible. The aim is not to have you read an overly lengthy library of information that feels good, okay? The Amboss library is just simply too much fucking information. And although it might feel good to gain potential energy as far as your knowledge base is concerned, when we talk about strict score augmentation, a lot of it is a waste of your fucking time. And I'm agnostic, by the way. I mean, my view strictly comes from not wanting to waste students' time, okay? I want to get your score up as much as possible. Now, UWorld's a gold standard. Amboss, too much information. And it's not just the superfluousness of the library. It also tends to be, as per my observation, when students DM me random questions that are extremely weird or nitpicky, my response is, where'd you get this question from? Amboss? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, no shit, it's Amboss, okay? So that's also more of a subjective element. It happens to be, I'll look at questions and say, like, why is this very borderline or nitpicky? Like, can't you just assess something that is in the NBME exams? So in contrast, USMLE RX, the complaint that some students will have is that the questions are too simple, okay? They'll say, well... The UWorld questions are way more uh, complex or more involved. The RX questions are a little bit too simple for me. My view is that's good. Okay, why do you need four or five steps of a hurdle in a question? Sometimes you just need to learn the important factoids, okay, the important points. USMLE RX, the fact that it's not overly fancy, I view that as a good checkbox when you're trying to blast through extra questions for your step. Now, without making this a 45 minute clip, I said I would also quickly discuss, sh like, should you do a second QBank and when? And the answer is, if you are very far out from your exam, greater than six months out, we can have you do a second QBank prior to UWorld, okay? So it's different for every student. I can't give one uh, over generalized remark because many of you guys are gonna have different study timelines, etc. But if you're greater than six months out, you can blast through extra questions prior to going into UWorld. Also depends on if you're on rotations and classes, how you'd go through a second QBank. But yes, I would use, I would use USMLE RX as a second QBank if you're further than six months out. And let's say you finish UWorld and you want extra questions, we can blast you through potentially USMLE RX closer to your exam. Or we could have you look at UWorld incorrects, okay? Once again, it's a lengthy discussion, but those are the potent that's the potential utility of doing a second QBank, is giving you an extra boost of questions when you're very far out from your exam or when you've already gone through UWorld. And then of course, closer to your exam, we need you going through all of the NBME content. I've made plenty of clips on this stuff. I'm not gonna make it the focus here, but closest to your exam, you wanna be off UWorld, you wanna be going through all of the NBME content, 20 through 30 for step one, for step two, six through 11, as well as the clinical mastery series forms, uh, the NBME subject specific forms, you're gonna memorize all of that content, screenshot your incorrects into a Word document, save as a PDF or PowerPoint, you're gonna go through all of that content close to your exam. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.